In today's video, I'm going to show you how to move files from your Samsung Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus or other Samsung devices to your micro SD card. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And today we're going to look at the micro SD card and how to move all the files off your phone onto this device and how it works. So the first thing that you need to do is place the micro SD card into your phone. So to pop out the SIM card tray, you will need a paper clip or the SIM card ejector that came with the phone. And then you just set your micro SD card into the device right there. Now I will leave a link to a few recommended SD cards in the description below. Once you have inserted the SD card, head into the camera. Now, if this is your first time putting that SD card in, it will give you a pop-up asking if the SD card is where you want to store your new pictures. But right now, if I select the settings, I can go and adjust those settings. So if I scroll down here, you will see the option where it says storage location. So right now it is set to the device storage. So that means if I take pictures or videos, everything is going to be stored on the device. But now that I have an SD card in, I want everything stored on the SD card. So I would need to select the SD card. And now from now on, any new pictures and photos that I take will be on the SD card. So now let's go into the gallery and show you a few different things as well. So now that I have that SD card inserted, right here on this album, you will actually see a little SD card icon. And any of the albums that are stored on the SD card will have that option. So here, this camera folder, that is not on my SD card as there is no SD card option there. And then this one is because it has that SD card and so is what I'm gonna do is take a few of these and move them off of the phone onto the SD card. If I open up my camera and then I go find a few photos I wanna move, I can highlight these so I can hold down and drag and highlight a bunch of the photos. And then I just need to select the menu in the top right. Here you have a few options, copy to album or move to album, create new, add to story and some other things. But we are gonna move these to a new album and here you could choose one that you already have selected, or we can select create new album. And here we can choose where we want it to be stored. So let's say we call this family photos, and then I want this to be stored on the SD card. And then I create that. And now it is creating the folder and moving those onto the SD card. And now if I go back and find those photos, right here you see family photos, there it shows the micro SD card indicating that it is on there. If I wanna add more pictures to that folder at any time, I can go back, find different pictures that I want to add, and then I can select the menu and move. And now that I have my family photos right there, when I select the family photos, it's gonna move those into that folder stored on the SD card. So if I had two camera folders here, one is on the SD card, one is not, I could simply highlight all of these. Up here, you can tap the all and it will select them all. I can select the menu, move to album, and then I can choose the other camera folder and it will move everything off of the camera folder on the phone to the camera folder on the micro SD card. So that is one way that you can transfer the picture files to your SD card. So the next option is to go into the applications and then go to the Samsung folder. Inside the Samsung folder, you will find the My Files application. So My Files is like a file browser for your phone. So in here, you can see all the files, the different file types, and then you can see the different storage locations. So here I have internal storage, and here I have SD card storage. So if I open this up, I can see exactly what is stored on this SD card. And then if I go through there, you can see my family photos folder was created right there. We open it up and there are all the files that I have added to that album. Now, if I wanna go and add that camera folder that I had on the internal storage to the SD card, I'm going to open up the internal storage right here. It's showing that you have 64 gig of storage and I've used 39 gig. And here my SD card is showing that I have a 29 gigabyte SD card and I've used 21.75 gig. So we're gonna open up the internal storage and then all of your photos, when you take the photos or some applications, they will save them in the DCIM folder. So if I open that up, here we can see all the different folders that I have in there. And here we have the camera folder. So here are all of those pictures that I have in the camera folder. So now if I highlight one of them, I can then select all 
Same thing here, go to the menu and now I can move them, I can copy them, zip them or detail. So zipping them adds them into one folder that you could email easily to somebody. Copying them makes a complete copy. So sometimes I do recommend copying them to the SD card first and then deleting them. But in this case, I am just going to do the move option. So we're gonna select move. I wanna move them to the SD card. And now I'm gonna choose the DCIM and we're gonna to go to the camera so that all of them are in the camera folder. And then I select done and now it will go through and it is transferring 327 files, pictures as well as videos all at once. And so that's gonna go through that and you could click home and that will continue to work in the background. Your time of transfer may vary depending on how many files you are trying to move as well as the speed of your micro SD card. The transfer has now finished and we can see that all of my files are here in the camera on the SD card. So if we go back, if we go back to the main page of the My Files application, here you can see that on the internal storage, I now only have 32 gigabytes. And here you can see on the SD card, I am just about full with 28 gig used and 29 gig total. So now if we go back into our gallery and go to the albums folder here, you can see that I have 609 pictures in my camera and there is now only one camera folder because I have moved all of those files outside of the camera. So here in the gallery, you can see that these folders align with what is available in the My Files application. So if you wanted to remove one of these folders, you can actually move all of the files into a different folder and then it would hide that folder. So there you can see there are lots of folders available and you can add as many as you would like. Now I do recommend that if you are creating more folders through the My Files application, let's say you're on the internal storage and here you are in the DCIM folder, try and create them all in here so you can keep all your photos organized. There are a few other options here where you could have a downloads folder or you could have movies, music, you can put them in those folders to specify exactly where they were, but just make sure you kind of organize them in a proper location so that you remember where they are when you go to find the files. So now let's go back to the SD card. In the settings here, we do have a few options. We can edit a few things so we could quickly select different items and delete them, or we could move and copy folders. So you can quickly copy a folder out of here into the internal storage, or we can create new folders as well as sort by, and we could free up some of our space. And if we go into the settings there, we can back up our files to different locations and we can have it show hidden files that may be hidden on the SD card. And yeah, that's, a, that's about it for the My Files application. Now, I do want to say that when you use the SD card, the main things that you're going to be storing on the micro SD card is your images. Maybe you want to store music on there. You could have videos, documents, downloaded folders, and more. Now the main thing that people ask me about on the SD card is if you can move applications from the phone to the SD card. Maybe you're running out of space, you wanna store those apps somewhere else so it's not taking up all the space on your phone. So let me show you how you can do that. Now some of the apps are not supported, but I'll show you how you can see if they are. So if you go into the settings of your phone, and then we go into the apps folder. So right here we have apps. It will show you a list of every app that you have downloaded on your phone. All right, so we're gonna start here at the top at the Amazon shopping application. So if I open that up, here you have a bunch of different options, but we're gonna go into the storage settings here. And right here you see a storage used, and then you have change. So now it's saying it's on the device memory. If I select change, I can move that app to the SD card. And here it says it is going to export the Amazon app. Do not remove the SD card while it is doing this. So there we can select move. It is going to move that application off of my internal storage and place it on the external storage. Now, if you do remove the SD card at any time, you will no longer have that application available. Uh, if you turn off your phone, take out the SD card, plug it in your computer, transfer files, plug it back in, turn on your phone, the app will still be there. So sometimes if it's showing like a grayed out app on your home screen, you may just need to reset the phone so that it can register that again. And then if we go into Allo right here, we'll go into the same setting in the storage menu. And here you do see that there is no option to change from device to 
external storage. So that is how you can know which applications will allow you to move to the SD card. So there's not a quick list, but you will just need to manually go in and quickly check. Here we have another one that we can simply move to the SD card. And if you are looking for a way to free up space, another option is to uninstall the app. Maybe you want to go through and clean up your applications. You can also check under here under storage. And if the app is taking up a ton of space, you can actually clear the cache or clear the data. Make sure the app has information backed up, but some applications will store a lot of temporary files and you will see that under the cache data. So you can quickly clear that so that those are removed from your phone. So there's one more way that you can transfer files to your SD card, and that will be within certain applications. So here, if I go into my Play Movies application, and I select download, that will download it to the device. But maybe I'm running out of storage on my phone, and I wanna add it to the SD card. We can go into our settings, and then we can scroll down, and right here, we will find the option of where we want to store the actual movies when we download them. Even though you download them, they're not stored in like the gallery, they're still stored in the app. But here, if we select SD card, that means it's going to temporarily store those files on the SD card and you'll be able to view them in the app at any time. Now, there are many applications that do that. Here in Play Movies, you can do that. You can do that with Netflix and many other applications. And that is it. That is how you use your micro SD card on your Samsung Galaxy S9. S9 Plus or many of the other Samsung devices. If you have any further questions about how to use the micro SD card, please leave a comment below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to teach you more on the next one.